Yeah, over the years, we have been working together to address the multiple problems that have been facing this community. And I'm glad to note that we have recorded the many successes in many areas, although there are still some challenges that remain. But I'm confident that with cooperation between the government and the communities here, we will overcome those challenges that remain. Yeah. So I want specifically to refer to the drought relief program that we are implementing here, to look at the progress that we have made in implementing it, but also other programs <coughs> such as that of the Ministry of Health and Social Services that aim to address malnutrition uh, in the region and in the area. But there is also another one for marginalized communities that is under the office of the Vice President that assist those communities that are marginalized to be brought into the mainstream of the economy. So I want to encourage you to specifically participate in this program. The drought relief program, the program to support marginalized communities, and also the program to fight malnutrition. So here I was just emphasizing the importance of taking care of children and staying away from too much alcohol consumption. Because that leads to child neglect, it leads to crime. And now we have incidences of death of infants because of malnutrition. Not because of hunger, as it's being said. The food has been distributed, I have confirmed it. It is because the children are not properly fed with enriching and nutritional food. They are not given enough food or they are not given food at all. And now I hear that some children are actually being given alcohol. So that is very, very much unacceptable. Kugangelwa Amadila said that the government has been assisting vulnerable communities such as those in America and have recorded many successes in this regard. In addition to the multiple poverty alleviation programs, government has also introduced the drought relief program benefiting the same communities. She also referred to other programs including that of the Ministry of Health and Social Services aimed at addressing malnutrition. There are also specific programs under her office aimed at bringing marginalized communities into the mainstream of society and that help to address issues of malnutrition among them. Gangelwa Amadila urged the community to identify problems they face and to report these for government to assist them in time. The parents should take care of their children. It's not just the women that should take care of them, but both parents should take care of the children. We do not want to hear children dying because of hunger while their parents look healthy and well. Most of this is caused by consumption of alcohol. Children suffer from malnutrition and not by lack of food. Mopea said some parents are employed but don't send anything home where they left their children. The office of Onganjera Traditional Authority has a program in place to remedy the situation in different villages, specifically for needy people. At the same event, the Onganjera Traditional Authority donated seven bags of mahangu to selected households who are in dire need. Over the years, the community has been faced with a lack of drinking water for both humans and animals. Amarika is home to over 1,000 households and close to 63 houses benefit from the drought relief program. Seven households have been declared as malnutrition affected.